Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. And today we have a Geo Protec Inverter. This one's a GS2000 model. 2000 stands for 2000 watts or 2 kilowatts. And if you have a look on the screen of this one, it's completely blank. We've got no reading, no lights, nothing there at all. Now, what that's telling us with a Geo Protec Inverter, and with most inverters actually, is that it's not detecting any power from the solar panels. Pretty much it thinks it sees no power from the solar panel, so it thinks it's night time, so it's totally totally blank, totally shut down. So if your inverter is, is coming up like this, there's a few things that you should check. And one is that the uh, the plugs in the inverter on the DC side are actually plugged in, connected in there correctly. And also in the case of the Geoprotec one, we've actually got a switch under here, a DC switch. And uh, you can see offering in there, on is at the back there. So it should be facing on. So that's off there. It should be in the on position there and uh, what else is there you can check there so we're just checking also that the uh, PV ray DC isolator is in the on position if you checked all those things and they're all as they should be there doesn't seem to be any sign of problems there then unfortunately you are going to need to get some expert assistance to work out what the problem is because, like I said, it, it, uh, the inverter thinks there's no power from the, the uh, solar panels, it could be an issue somewhere between the inverter and the solar panels, or it could be a problem with the solar panels, or it could be internal fault of the inverter. You are going to need someone uh, with a solar accreditation to actually look into that for you and work out what the problem is and advise you further. If you're on the Gold Coast or South East Queensland you've got a problem like this, don't hesitate to get in contact with Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. We can certainly help. If you're somewhere else in Australia, we recommend getting in contact with your local solar power company to be able to uh, help you further. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful.